Hey friend, Graham here from recordingrevolution.com. We're at the end of my eight week challenge, recording and releasing a song in eight weeks. We have come very, very far from a song idea and a little bit of a guitar riff all the way to a finished master last week. The final step is actually taking our song, getting it out of our studio and into the world. And to do that, we need two simple things. One, we need some cover art. This is gonna be the visual indicator of the song. So whether it's an album or a single, you want some art that shows up on Spotify, shows up on Apple Music, shows up as the thumbnail when people are playing the song. And we also need to distribute this song, basically get it into Spotify, get it into Apple Music, get it onto the Amazon store, the Google Play store, or iTunes, so people can buy it wherever you want it to have distributed. So we're gonna cover both of those today. I'm gonna show you some simple tools you can use to pull that off. Let's get creative and then let's get this song distributed to the world. All right, so the first thing I wanna do before I distribute this is I need to create some cover art, some album art for this single. So. A platform that I love to use is Canva. It's free, it's easy to use. If you don't have any kind of Photoshop or any kind of background like that, this is a perfect program for you, canva.com. Just navigate to canva.com and you can start designing a square album art, cover art uh, image for your track. So they have a template called CD cover, which is where I would start. It gives you the 1400 by 1400 pixels, plenty of resolution. Open that bad boy up and now we have a blank template uh, that you could start designing you know, with stuff on the left, dragging in photos or elements, text, and things like that. But they also have some templates to start with. Um, so it, this not, might be a good way to start because they're professionally designed and you can swap out different things. So let's see, there's different designs here. They already have some um, great places to start. You know, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you you change them up. But I, I, like, I like sometimes starting with these because they give you an idea like this is you know this would work with a, an image with a lot of negative space up top you could recreate that um you could obviously change the image as well just taking a look at what we have here i kind of like this concept um because it's like split down the middle so i probably time to heal we could Make this a little smaller. Graham Cochran. And what we could do is we could change this color. Let's go with a different photo here. name over there and yeah so what we could do is take a look at this smaller so yeah you could that's like a version of that idea that's kind of cool let's add a page here and start with a different one let's go back to templates um let's start with so let's find something different that's more image based huh, they have minimalist cd covers that's not bad. I kind of like this guy here. A time to heal. Let's get rid of this block. Let's zoom in. This is way too small. Graham Cochran. All right, so... Um, let's see if we can find an image that's pretty stark like this. Let's go to photos. Uh, and what I'm going to do is they have some, some stock photos here in Canva. I'm going to show you another option that they have uh, that I use. It's a website called Unsplash. Unsplash is a great resource for free stock images where you can get pretty specific on what you're looking for. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for because it's more of like the vibe. So let me type in beach. 
this might be not at all what I want, but I want something stark. Um, oh, there's like a, almost like a gray Malin overhead shot. That's cool. Um, that's cool. I download that. And then what I'm going to do is just drag that into Canva. Delete that background. Just start grabbing this. What we can do here is fill the sort of image. And then I can slide that up. And then what I can do, so with this, we've got some options. We can either keep the image as is and let's say maybe make these the text white, you know, so it pops on there. So let's go to the text of the gray because that remember that was that was the gray because it was on a white background. So we can sort of make that work or we can take this image and we can either filter it or we can make it transparent. Um, sort of like almost 50% transparent that we can make this back to the gray again or black, you know. That almost looks too faded, so let's make it. We can check it small. We can move the text down a little bit. So yeah, like you could, so in my mind, like visually, I I, I think beach because I think stark and I think the contrast between the smooth ocean and the, the violence of the waves. And so it's like, you know, conflicting, um, ideals and people crashing in together but you get the idea so i'm going to play around with this a little bit more try some more other some other options and see where i want this album art to land all right got my artwork done i'll show you that in a second um, now let's get this thing distributed now there are a lot of ways and platforms that you can distribute your music and get it on spotify apple music all the places so i've used everything from cd baby to TuneCore to last few years i've been using distro kit last week we were using lander to master our song lander can distribute your music as well i already have an account with distro kid so i'm going to show you how this works but what you need is a digital distributor someone who will take your music and get it placed in all the back end and then keep track of your sales keep track of your streams, all that kind of stuff for you. And what I love about DistroKid is you just pay for the service, but you get to keep all of the money. So there's different ways to do it. And like I said, DistroKid is the easiest way for musicians to get music into Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Tidal, TikTok, YouTube, and more. So I've had a really good experience with DistroKid, uh, and that's why I use it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account and get this going. So now we're in my back end, and you can see all the you know different albums I've uploaded, whether it's singles I've done. Uh, I, I also host some of the worship tracks I've done. So this is, you can see all your stuff, and you can see where it's been distributed. So all I'm going to do is go to Upload. And so it's going to give me the options of where it's going to upload my music. Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, you can see where it's going to go. All these places. I'm going to do a song, which is a single. So you can do, you list how many songs. Is it previously released? No. What's the name of the artist? Graham Cochran. Simple instructions and rules on like, don't use emojis. Um, when you use, don't put like featured artists, like they want, they'll tell you how they want you to do it, right? So it's in, it already recognizes that I'm already in Spotify, already recognizes that I'm already in Apple Music. If not, it's going to create your, uh, basically artist name in those accounts. So you're all good there. You choose the release date that you want this to be released. It's going to be released on December 29th, but you could pick whatever date you want. You could choose to let people pre-order or not. You can put in your uh, record label. The Recording Revolution is my company, so I put that there. And this is where you drag in your cover art, right? Ideally, they want 3,000 by 3,000. I've done 1,400 by 1,400, and it's been no problem. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my finalized art here. And this is what it ended up looking like, in case you're wondering. I went with an image that had that contrast sort of violently crashing on the shore. So you can see how I evolved at this, this image here. Very simple, drag that in. Language, genre, so I'm gonna go with rock. You can have subgenre. I'm going to ignore that for now. And then what's the name of the track? A time to heal. And now they want you to actually upload the actual audio. So this is where we're gonna upload our mastered file that we got from Lander last week. All right, that's the final 24-bit wave master songwriter. I wrote this song, or is it a cover? If it's a cover, it'll go ahead and find all of the, uh, it'll do all of the back end for you to make sure you're, you're paying. Um, anytime you, you get a sale, it'll pay the cut to the uh, producer or the songwriter or the copyright holder. Songwriter's real name, in case you have a different artist name, Graham Cochran. Explicit lyrics, yes or no, no, is this a radio edit? No, this is clean and always has been. Is it instrumental? Nope, this song contains lyrics. Um, pre preview clip start time, let streaming services decide. So you, <clears throat> it's clever, you could decide what will be like the part you want them to stream. If you're really, really picky about that, you know, for the sample, you can pick that. Uh, and I just, I just let them pick. You can choose the price point. I'm gonna make it 99 cents for the, when the people are buying their copies. And then there's some extra options you can take a look at and see if you want to do that. And then we just go through all these checkbox. And there we go. All right, we did it. I mean, that's it. That's how easy it is to get a song distributed. Now, generally, depending on your DistroKid account or whatever platform you use, it might take a few days or weeks for the songs to be in the store. So typically, you want to be doing this distribution weeks before the release date so that there's no rush. You're not like, hey, it's supposed to be live. I told everyone it's live and it's not. As you might have seen on my screen, DistroKid said, hey, this release date is cut cutting a little bit close. I have a priority account, so it should be good. Uh, and I'm not too worried about exactly when it comes out necessarily. But if you are, make sure you give yourself that distribution window. They recommended four weeks, um, but I've done it literally within a day or two. So DistroKid typically can get my song in Apple Music or Spotify same day. I'm on a priority account, uh, but there's no guarantee that it'll be in all stores right away unless you give it some lead time. And in fact, by the time you're watching this, it should be in Apple Music or Spotify. So maybe you can go take a listen and see if it's there. And if it is, let me know. I'll link to it below if it officially is available by the time I'm distributing this video. But uh, you have seen this whole process come to light. And I, I wanna ask you if, you, if you haven't already, leave me a comment below this video and let me know if you've watched this entire series, what has been the most eye-opening part of the series? Because we've covered a lot and you've seen this song evolve. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you feel like the most eye-opening part of it was. Um, and maybe what was something new that you hadn't learned yet that was really, really helpful that you're gonna take away when you work on your music. Also, so many of you have been working alongside me doing your own songs. So if you have, let me know that you've released a song by saying, I did it, I followed along, I got my song done from start to finish. Leave me a comment below, I'd love to cheer you on because uh, I know a ton of you were working on your songs. And most importantly, I just hope that this series inspired you, encouraged you, maybe gave you some motivation and some structure to get your song done. I saw some comments that say, why is it taking you eight weeks to do it? It doesn't take eight weeks. You could do this a lot sooner than eight weeks. I wanted to show you this process over eight weeks so that it would be a nice, drawn out, easy to understand series, as well as showing you that you can space it out nice and, nice and slow. If you wanna do it in a week, you could do a song in a week. It really doesn't matter. But I hope this gave you a framework for how to go from rough idea to getting something out in the real world. A lot of my students 
are creative, working on music, but they never release it. My friend, if you don't release it, it's not ever officially done. It's not ever really art until you share it with someone else and they can enjoy what you've been working on. Otherwise, it's just a secret. So don't keep it a secret. Share it with the world. It may not be your best song. That's okay. But it's the next step to your best song. That's not my best song, but it's the next step to my best song. You always want to be writing, recording, releasing over and over and over again. That's how you get good at this process. Plus, you don't need a perfect song to impact somebody. You know, get it out there. Somebody needs to hear that song. It's going to encourage or impact somebody. So don't hold it back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of the recording revolution. Thanks for supporting me during this journey on this song. It's been really cool to see your comments and feedback. I've been encouraged and I'm excited that it's done. So now you can go listen to it. I can go listen to it and enjoy it. And of course, if you haven't, pick up your copy of the Radio Ready Guide. This will be a great resource for you as you continue to make your own music, walking you through the six steps to go from song idea to final release. Basically covering what we did during this series, but with some great tips and tricks along the way and some bonus content that I want you to have. It's absolutely free, my six steps to a Radio Ready Song Guide just click the link below or go to radioreadyguide.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Happy New Year. We'll see you on another video real soon.